So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start up a fresh new spreadsheet. We'll go stock chart. This is going to be great for you know traders, long-term investors. What I'm going to do is just type in symbol start by just going Google Finance and say like go oh, Apple and go price. And just that alone will give me the latest stock price that it closed at today. I can also go, I want to see what the stock price was on 1-5-2020. It'll say, okay, or it looks like 1-6. It just converted the next business day, 299 cents, which is really, really cool. But if I want to just go ahead and say, I want to see a whole chart of that, then I would go Google Finance. I'm actually going to point it here so it can kind of be a dynamic formula. Then I'm going to type all in parentheses in uh, quotations. Date. I'm going to. I'm actually going to have this go back. Let's say three years. So I'm going to do it just like this. You can hear, hear my kids in the background. They're actually getting ready for bed. Then we'll go today. So what this is is this is how far back I want it to go. And this is this the end date. In other words, the I want it to be between this time frame. Now you can go daily, and it's going to give you a really long table because it's going to be doing every single business day that the market was open. I'm going to do weekly just to keep it kind of clean. Then I'll hit enter, and voila! It gives you date, the open, the high, the low, the close, the volume. Slick, super fast, and I can actually even just change it by going symbol. I want it to be Visa now and it just changes right over to Visa. Uh, let's go Starbucks. Perfect. Boeing. Awesome. And let's go Lulu. Now, that's how I set up the table for the stocks. But what if I want to make a chart? Well, then what I do is I highlight this area. It's still the easiest way to do this, but I'll show you why it's kind of also funky. So if I go Insert, let's go Chart, It'll default to a line chart. I'm going to go ahead and change it to candlestick down here. And then I'm going to go aggregate. Yeah, so it'll give me the date as the x-axis. But as you'll notice, all these are off. So low is open, open is high. Yeah, it's all messed up. So I'm going to go ahead and change it from open to low. Open to open. Close to close. High to high. So I have to basically realign which chart's which. And now I should have a really clean looking candle chart. Much better. And the cool thing is I can also take this and even make it its own sheet just by clicking here. Done. And perfect. Edit the chart by clicking here. If I want to even customize it. Make the background color black. Maximize it like this. So I can do a lot of cool stuff with it. And it even gives me this where I can see the high and low of the day. So that's it for this tutorial. Nice, quick, easy. You can do this all on your own on Google Sheets. And you can see more of these as a trader at StockTraderJack.com um, or subscribe to this channel. Other than that, that's it. We're done.